Hi everyone, welcome to another video and in this video we are gonna explore more things in Flutter 2.5 So, so far we discussed about the new template which we get with Flutter which is this particular view where you have a list view and if, if you click any item you get this screen so to screen app then you can also change the theme so let's see what else we get okay and if you're interested don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel okay so now um, we have this screen where we have this uh, more information here text which is, which is nothing but just a text right so what we are gonna see we are gonna explore material banner which is a new addition i, I guess it's a community uh, contribution but yeah i mean this is a part of material design so we are gonna take a look uh, and also we'll see how it is different from snack bar which we already have right before flutter 2.5 in fact i guess material banner was there for some time but yeah, I mean, let's let's explore because uh, I have never made a video on it, so we can explore it. So what I'm gonna do um, in the body part, in the center, I'll just remove this text, but rather I'll have a column, okay? And I can say main axis alignment to center, okay? And uh, that's good. And then in the column, we can have some children. So we're gonna have some children and let's remove the const from here because that's gonna give us issue and we will make two buttons over here okay one will be a text button where we will say that okay uh, child will be a text saying show banner okay and uh, on pressed we can do something so let's leave it like this and what else this is this is one part and similarly we are gonna have another text button which will say show snack bar because it's important to understand the difference like when to use what if you really want to follow material design okay so if i click on show banner it will show me the banner and if i click on show snack bar it will show me the snack bar so what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna create um two different methods over here for example you can have a widget uh, separate widget but uh, i'm going just with uh, let's say a material banner okay let's say banner uh, or maybe material banner and I'll just ask for a build context just for the sake of asking it right and I can return a material banner over here right and let's see what we get with this material banner so um, as it is saying that the content is compulsory so we have to add a content where we can say that do you would you like to buy it for example so that, let's say you are on a product screen and uh, you have this kind of unique um, kind of product which you want people to buy so you will show something like this that would you like to buy it as a banner and then you will have to provide some actions right so action can be another text button probably I'll go with text button so one button can say um, for example child and we can just say text and we should say buy now and we can have on pressed as nothing for now and we can have another text button which will just say cancel okay so okay so this is what we have and uh, as because because see there are warnings which we are getting why this is happening because this template comes with a pre-made lint i would say like uh, the package is already there the lint package flutter lints so it will give you suggestions that you know or warnings that you should let's say for example you can add a const here and uh, it will be fine so similarly here you can add a const so that's good to have uh, make try to uh, remove these problems to zero uh, if, if possible because that will make uh, your code much much better so this is what we have right and there are more properties which we get like animation if you want to provide you want to provide for background color for section below which i'll just show you uh, something in leading okay so i can use the leading part and i can say icons dot buy something like that uh cart maybe something is there cart probably i'll get like shopping cart or something so shopping let's search that also if you are using um vs uh, like android studio 
then you will probably um, see the icons right over the uh, like this place left to uh, your code editor which I guess it was already there in VS Code but on Android Studio it was missing but now it's there. So this is another feature by the way if you if you use any Flutter package for icons if that is using TTF. Um, so yeah this is what we have and now if I uh, go to this show banner what I can do is I can use scaffold messenger okay so i have something called scaffold messenger which was also announced recently i guess with flutter 1.20 or flutter 2.0 i'm not sure i don't remember exactly but yeah i mean this is the something which was announced soon and uh, here i can say show material banner and i can pass the material banner over here uh why it is showing me an error because um the argument type material banner oh Okay, so it takes a context. Let's do that. Okay, looks good. So now what I'm gonna show, so if I click here, show banner, you can see we have got a banner saying that, would you like to buy it, buy no or cancel. So here's the thing. So why we use this material banner? So material banner are mostly, okay, used to show some important information. And uh, this banner has a purpose. First of all, it comes from the top in the materials then like below the app bar and second thing is that it is not auto dismissible which means that it will not be like it will not hide itself after a certain duration but user has to do some action to remove it because it's it's not like a warning or something it's it's like a, it's like an important message you can say or it's like a, it's like something where you have to present something with like fewer words okay so and you can give some actions right without actions it's 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 useless basically right so this is the purpose of material banner what we can do is we can make it a little bit more interesting by providing some background color probably so we can use let's say colors dot you know uh, purple dot shade hundred probably let's try that out how that looks I don't think it will look very good but um we can try so show banner and it will not do anything uh how you will hide it around right what's the question is that uh, once you get the banner how you will remove it so will the pop thing will work like navigator dot off context dot pop will it work no it won't work because you are invoking it through a scaffold messenger so only scaffold messenger can help you in hiding it as well so um what you can do is scaffold messenger basically where are you so you can say the same thing of context but this time rather than saying um, show you can just say clear material banners if you have multiple banners you want to clear them or if you have a specific banner you can just say hide current material banner okay so this is what we are going to use so once i say that if i press on cancel because uh, we have to just re do a hot restart because we just kind of did some changes over here uh, and now if i go back if i click show banner and i can see this this is not looking that pretty <laughs> that pretty uh, maybe let's try to make it a little yellow probably that will look better but let's click on cancel and it is gone so there is slight animation it is looking much better so if you click on cancel it will go so this is how a uh, material banner works there's one more difference between material banner and uh, snack bars which i'm just gonna cover so second thing is snack bar let's do that as well so i'll just copy this and rather than uh, this i'll just say snack bar and uh, i'll just say snack bar okay and we can just say snack bar okay so um snack bar will be i guess caps right b will be caps okay let's do this and uh, leading an action so basically snack bar only has one action so that action i'll just copy from here and i'll remove actions but rather i'll just keep an action over here so action and you can custom uh, customize this uh, particular thing but not that much so leading will be gone because uh, an action what it takes it takes a snack bar action basically so i'll just copy this and i'll use snack bar action um let me just try it out okay it has already some label 
so we can just say i guess it takes a string so we can just say let's say cancel and you can do something over here right uh, snack bars are mostly used for some kind of process inside your application let's say uh, let's say you want to show that do you want to retry then you can retry you must have seen it in gmail right a lot of times so that is what uh, snack bar is for right it's and it is auto dismissible like you can provide a duration so if we see the properties of it uh, you will see that it has a behavior, it has dismissed direction, it has, it has a duration and uh, it also has a shape. So if you want to give some stadium border or something like that, let's remove the background color because mostly you will see snack bars are of uh, black color. But if you have an undo action like in Gmail, it, you will see it in green color as well sometimes, right? So snack bar, how you will use snack bar? So again, you can use uh, scaffold messenger. Earlier we used to have scaffold only, but uh, you can have snack bar and uh, this is how you will write it and once we do that let's try snack bar and you can see it here and it will be you will see after a duration it will go right so that's the difference between banner and snack bar one more difference between them is that banner does not have to invoke through um, a particular like you don't have to call scaffold messenger to use the banner but you can also use it as uh, a widget inside the widget tree for example we can have this inside this column itself and you will see that it will work so if i do a hot restart you can see so this banner will always be there i can manipulate it using some boolean flag that if, if it is true then show it otherwise false right so material banner can be used that in that way as well it's not something which will only be shown after a user action it can be shown as a part of the widget tree but snack bar does not work like that so both have different purpose you have to understand the purpose for your application when to use what but again i'm repeating material banners are usually for banner like uh, feel right where you want to have a important information or you want some action by the user using a smaller kind of description or you can say some few words there right and snack bars are for some quick actions which are a process of the application which like processing or doing something and some error occurred something like that right which also does not restrict the uh, user's uh, input on the screen right i mean it should not hide the details of the ui uh, it just comes from the bottom and it does not disrupt the ui interaction of the user so those are the purpose if you want to restrict the interaction then you will use something like circular bar or dialog or progress bar something like that right so this is the video about the explanation of banner i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did press the like button subscribe to the channel and we will come with more such things in the future and thanks for watching bye bye